Hi all. In my today's video cast, I'll talk about uh, creating a simple uh, JSF uh, based application uh, with the help of uh, JSF2, Tomcat, and Eclipse Juno. Uh, so as we know, JSF2 is based on uh, completely on annotations. Uh, so it has eliminated the usage of uh, faces config XML and web.xml XML files. Uh, so your managed beans, everything, whatever is being used as a JSF resource uh, can be uh, achieved by using annotations. So I'll show you that how do we, how can we create a uh, JSF application uh, in my Eclipse based ID and with the help of, we'll deploy that in Tomcat server. So to get started, uh, I have used Eclipse G uh, Juno, which is the latest release from Eclipse. Uh, so right click in your project explorer, create new dynamic web project. Then give any name, say demo JSF. Then uh, target runtime is Tomcat 7, since we are using Tomcat 7. Uh, dynamic web model version 3.0. Uh, then in configuration level, you can change it to Java server faces 2.1 or 2.0. Uh, so currently the latest version is 2.1, uh, we can choose either one, uh, so let's just, uh, choose 2.1, uh, then it lasts for a few uh, in information inputs from us, um, so uh, either way we can eliminate web.xml, the entry of web.xml uh, from our applications, so it is not mandatory but we can still keep it. Uh, now we need a JSF implementation libraries. Uh, so you can download the JSF uh, uh, the reference implementation from Oracle site or uh, uh, from the java.net site. The website is uh, javaserverfaces.java.net. There you can download uh, the default or uh, the default reference implementation of JSF 2.0 API. Uh, so there is an option to configure JSF servlet, even if uh, as of JSF 2, this is not uh, mandatory but still you can keep it to see our applications over there. So click on finish. So our application is ready over here and uh, as you can see, we can just see the libraries. You can see the libraries, JSF 2.1 has been added. Uh, even if the jar of Java, like, jar which contains the implementation is already added to this. So for us it is not, uh, like we don't have to go in depth to that. Now we'll just navigate to web.xm, uh, sorry, web content folder. We have webnf, lib, web.xml, and the main is facesconfig.xml. So the, our ID has created this file, but it's not mandatory for JSF2 based applications. So I, I'll just show you how do we, how can we eliminate the users of facesconfig.xml. Uh, so let's first create a some simple uh, XHTML page. Um, as of uh, JSF2, the default view page or view technology is used as a facelet or a XHTML page. You just click on new author, then here you just click on this, give it a index, click on next, choose a template over here, then it has a lot of things for you. Just delete this template and use. And now so this is my head. Now it's column body. Output level. Uh, level you can keep in things. For example, we'll say. Uh, JSF demo page. Now let's run this page. It's pretty simple. Click on the or on server. Choose Apache Tomcat. Then click on finish. So uh, it will be deployed to our server, and uh, in a moment we can see our page. So. So this is what we got it here. Uh, now, this is a basic example of uh, XHTML page. Now we create a uh, managed main, which is a, a main part of any JSF application. 
and i'll show you how easily you can create a mnist bean uh, without uh, knowing uh, like without entering the information in freshes config xml which we are doing in jsf 1 or 1.1.1 and 1.2 based uh, applications so just right click click new class it will say we name the uh, mnist bean as grid bean uh, then you generate the comments say over the dot demo jsf dot sample dot bins finish and as of case of uh, uh, two everything is annotated uh, based on annotations uh, for so for manage bins uh, we have two annotations mainly the main thing is main annotation is manage bin at the rate manage bin is part of java x dot faces dot uh, bin package uh, so when you give Manage bin. The Freshers servlet will identify. It will scan through your class and it will just identify this grid bin as a uh, case of manage bin. And it has an attribute called name. So you you if you want to have an identifier for your for your manage bin, then you can give it here. I will give give it grid. If you will not give it anything by the naming convention, uh, the name will be given as grid bin with g with, with g as a small letter. Uh, so, but we want to give it some name over here. So this is great. Now the next most most important thing is the scope. So we can say we want to be uh, we want to make the management be part of a request scope. So I have given request scope. So there are uh, several scopes: uh, session scope, application scope, view scope. I'll be discussing that in my uh, further uh, videos. Uh, so this is the Typical or easiest way to create a JSF managed bin in JSF2. Uh, now let's uh, create a method over here: public string grid and uh, return return some value here. Uh, welcome to JSF2, and let's have a constructor over default constructor. Okay, nothing else. Only constructor over here. So that's pretty easy. Now our uh, uh, manage bin is ready. How do we use them in my XHTML pages? Uh, let's say we want to replace this. The values I want to call the uh, method of this manage bin. Uh, let's say how do we do to the deferred expression language? Um, how do I do? My I have registered my grid bin to a name called grid. So Greet dot greet method name is also greet. So if you need to this way, uh, we can invoke this. Uh, probably we need to uh, deploy our application. So we'll just uh, have a restart. Now just refresh. So you can see. Uh, our XHTML pages, uh, when we invoke this, this my Freshers subreddit will identify uh, through this deferred expression language, it will identify the bin associated with the name greet. So this is grid bin and it invokes uh, the corresponding method after that. So greet dot greet. So it just calls this method and returns it. So whatever uh, we return it here, it comes over here. So this is the, uh, the uh, simplest example of uh, uh, JSF based application with respect with the help of JSF2. Um, uh, we have created a manage bin with uh, annotations. So if I open faces config XML, it's still empty. So if you can see, it's still empty. We don't have to specify anything. Even if uh, we, we don't have to register the uh, manage bin in my faces config XML file, whereas in JSF 1.1 or 1.2, you have to register your <coughs> manage bin in the uh, faces config XML. Uh, so this is a uh, simplest example of uh, of a JSF2 based web application. In my next videos, I'll talk about uh, handling the actions or having an action in the form, um, then controlling the navigations in JSF. How do we control them? Control them.